Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Arise with the Lucy for Tea Games. On the last episode, we got lost. <laughs> we were trying to get to the underground dock west of Nies, where we think Almedria, the lord of Mahaksar, the Wind Realm, has fled to after having taken out, shall we say, most of the town of Nies, the population. Err, <laughs> so we're going after her. Except we got lost, or I got lost, and we went to the wrong area and explored that for a while. I didn't find very much, but we did get some fun skits, so that was good. And then we explored this area, mm -hmm. the Adan Ruins, er, where we, I think, plots that way, so we're gonna go that way. But yeah, uh, that that's actually all that happened last time, so we didn't do very much. But today we're gonna actually try and find Almadria, because, you know... That seems important, and I think she must be over here somewhere. Err, uh, we do technically have tons of side quests, and the fact that it says setting sail there makes me wonder if it's gonna be like, hey, by the way, you can't go back once you set sail, but maybe not. Hmm. I don't know. I'm hoping it'll warn us, though, if any huge story stuff's gonna happen that'll mean that we can't come back, because previous Tales games have done that. Like, warned you, so... Err, uh, hopefully this one will warn us. And if it doesn't, then I have a safe state and we can always go back. Alright, err, uh, let's just go through here and hopefully this is the right way. Fingers crossed this time. Ah, Hidden Wharf, this is definitely the right place then. Err, uh, now that I think about it, who am I playing as? Alpha and... I might change over to Kisara for now. A dead end? No, there's an elevator. Looks operational. It does indeed. Uh, I don't think there's anything else actually in here, so I guess we'll just use the elevator. Okay, well, this is cool. There's a boat here. I can't believe there's actually an underground harbor here. There are even boats docked. I only see Danids. Think they were forced to work here? Probably. Let's see what they have to share about Almadria. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah, I'd be surprised if it's not Danids who've been enslaved. This must have been a trade route or something. Hmm. I hope she's not sending more of her fruits to other places, because that would be... A big yikes. Oh, that's where all the Danans are. They hadn't spawned in yet. <laughs> fast point, uh, fast travel point added, so that's cool. Hi. This might not be the best place in the world to work, but at least you can, but at least you spend your days never having to worry about starving. You can't head out to the, you can't head out to fish in the ocean, but if you don't mind river fishing, there's a good spot outside with all the fish you could ever want. I see. Well, that's pretty neat. Er, uh, hello there. It's real unusual for Lord Almadria to come through here without letting any of us know ahead of time. She took off with a sizable posse too. Wonder what that was all about. Your guess is as good as mine. I'm just glad she didn't ask us to come along with her. I'm guessing that was her fleeing from us. <laughs> or not fleeing, but like... I don't know how dignified she would put it, but probably much more than that. Hello! I ain't been back to Nia's in a long while. If it ain't one bright eyes busting my chops on deck, it's another busting my chops on the docks. Speaking of which, did you hear? They say the cargo might contain stolen goods once someone smuggled from outside the realm. Oh yeah, I heard. But it don't concern us what's inside. Our job is to process them and move on. Yeah, I hear ya. We got enough to worry about with how heavy it's gonna be to haul around. Ah, I see. Illegal smuggling. Somehow I'm not surprised. Hello. This boat here is used for shipping. Always takes off with an empty cargo hold and comes back with a full one. Pretty big, ain't she? But compared to Lord Almadria's personal ship, this thing's a cupcake. They have cupcakes in this world? Oh, well, I guess they have ice cream, so... Huh. Yeah, it's pretty big, actually. Are we gonna steal a boat? Are we gonna steal a boat? I hope we steal a boat. That would be fun. Can I jump off of here? I can. The water is so pretty. They've done such a great job with the textures of this game. Like, look at how gorgeous that is. Ugh. Oh, stunning. Okay. 
Uh, if we go back this way then... So that's all those people. Were there more over this way? Uh, oh, there's an item. Uh, mackerel. Lots of fish. I'm just stealing everyone's food though. Uh, maybe there- Ah, there's someone here. He hadn't spawned in yet, but he's here. Err... Uh, oh, okay. Fine. I get it. Plot. You didn't happen to see a lord come by, did you? Sorry, friend, but she just left. Came by with a whole posse of underlings, boarded her ship, and took off at first wind. We damn near got blown away. She was that much in a hurry. Damn! So we missed her! You guys trying to go after her? Need a ride? Are you saying you know how to steer a ship? Spent most of my life chained to the deck of some ship or other. Yeah, I know my jib from my boom. We don't know how dangerous it'll be. Better you give us the boat and stay on solid ground. Whoa there! You been out on the water before? The sea ain't nobody's friend, you know. You need a sea dog like me or you'll sink her before she makes it out the harbor. We're losing time. Sir, we're in your debt. Now that's more like it. Name's Mahavar. Just give me a holler when you're all set and we'll set sail. I see. Thank you, Mahavar. Uh, the fact that it's giving me time to prepare worries me. Should I be buying items and stuff? Is that what's happening? If I talk to him, will it just start? It says talk to him once you're ready. Maybe it'll come up with a thing. Ready to go. Ah, uh, set sailor, wait. Well, let's, let's wait a minute. Uh, that worries me a little bit. I'm gonna be honest. I don't have very much money though. And I don't know whether I'll be able to buy items on the ship. Um, would it be worth doing a side quest or two? I know that we spent last episode doing not very much, but also it might be worth doing a side quest or two. Um, we can always check a couple of the things. I mean, the Great Dragon was too high level for us then. I don't know what level it was, though. Oh, wait, I should have it in my bestiary, right? It's not called enemy info. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Great Dragon. 26. Oh, I could take that on. Okay, okay, we can maybe have a, have a look into doing that. The only problem is that uh, <laughs> we get 5,700 gold from it, but, like, how much gold are we going to spend on the items needed to defeat it? Hmm. And uh, we can't do that one because we know that that one's very high level. And then solve the mystery, retrieve the instrument. Yeah, I need to figure that one out. Um, we might be able to do that one. Just depends on whether we can find all the stuff. It says it's in Mahaksar specifically. So maybe all the places are in Mahaksar? Hmm. And then wait for the young man to pick up some clothes, discover more owls. Uh, okay, I think we could do these two hunts at the very least. And like the claiming the bounty and opening up trade. And we might be able to do mysterious pair, but I don't know. What were the wonder texts? There we go. Just beyond the hovels in a land shrouded by sand and stone. The northernmost reaches of a wasteland to the north of an abandoned village. It lies dormant at the back of a narrow road to the west whereupon an ancient tower stands. If we assume that these are all in Mahaksar. An ancient tower. You would think that would maybe be in the ruins. Maybe. But where is our ancient tower? Hmm. I mean, unless it's in Esteluva, which was an ancient tower. Uh, what was it? Dormant to the west. Uh, Dormant at the back of a narrow road to the west, whereupon an ancient tower stands. At the back of the narrow road to the west. So, narrow road though. Hmm. Narrow road slightly makes me wonder. I mean, unless that's it. Unless no, that's a peach gel. 
Which I could go and collect because uh, items would be good. I mean, unless it's not at Esteluva, it could be at Er. Uh, what do you call it? The Adan Lake? Because that's a kind of narrow road up to an ancient tower. But we went there last time and I didn't see anything like that. Hmm. All right, you know what? You know what? Let's let's try and figure out these these wonder texts. This is a terrible idea, and if this ends up taking up the whole episode, then I'm very sorry. Uh, I just need money, <laughs> so let's just go over here. Because I'm assuming there's going to be one wonder text item in each area, so I, that would probably mean one in. Adan Lake, one in the Adan Ruins, and one either Looks in like we made it here in one piece. Either in the Akfotal Hills or er uh, the other place. Err uh, Okay, okay. Let's let's see if we can do this. This might be er uh, a terrible idea. But that's okay. So the back of a narrow road. Um, I have no idea whether we're going to find this thing where I'm looking, but you know what? This is okay, we'll hopefully figure it out. So, the back of a narrow road leading to a tower. This is a slightly narrow road, and at the top of it stands a pretty ancient tower. And... It should be at the back of it. If it's going to be there at all. I just don't know what we're looking for. That doesn't help. Uh, are we supposed to find the first one first? Do we have to find them in order? Because that's it lies dormant at the back of a narrow road to the west where upon an ancient tower stands. If we assume that this is the back of the road to the west where upon an ancient tower stands and this is the ancient tower... Then, what are we looking for? Unless it was just the treasure that we picked up here, because we did pick up a treasure in that chest. Um, that could be the part of it, but no, surely they would have said something. Okay, let's try and find the first one then. Just beyond the hovels in a land shrouded by sand and stone. That's either got to be in Mahagsara Kalaglia. Uh, but there were some houses around here, so perhaps... Perhaps they're just in the Akfotal Hills? Possibly? Ugh. This is difficult, especially because I don't know the areas We've all that well. Our destination. But there's a bunch of hobbles, hobbles here, houses that are very uh, destroyed. So what did it say? Uh, just beyond the hovels, in a land shrouded by sand and stone. And they were saying about there being sand in the wind. So just beyond the hovels. So this is the hovels. So just beyond it would be her herb. I wonder if we can use this. Just beyond the hovels would probably be in this area somewhere. Maybe, but I don't know what I'm looking for, which really doesn't help. I'm just trying to lose these enemies real quick. Um, I mean, I doubt it's done by the campsite. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? Oh, you're obsessed with your ranch. We'll check back in later. <laughs> uh, so if that's the hovels, it's just beyond the hovels. I mean, unless it's in this area here? Again, though, what am I looking for specifically? Like, can they not give me a visual clue? Is it a chest? Err... Uh, game help. What am I doing? Game is not gonna help me. Game does not hear my plea for help. Err... <laughs> uh, hmm. So I wonder... 
Hmm. I mean, I could be looking in the exact wrong area. It could actually be in Calaglia. Um, I don't know. Some part of me doubts that. Simply because the quest itself was like, hey, it's in Mahaksar. So if it's going to be in Mahaksar, then this fits the clue. But also, where in this area? I'm going to get attacked by a million Zoogles. So that's fine. Um, uh... There you go, you can't attack me when I'm down here. Err... Uh, just beyond the hobbles. Well, these are the hobbles. What am I looking for? Would it be in the hobbles? Or past the hobbles? Oh, stop it. I can't see anything that looks important. So I'm gonna assume that this is not the right place. For now, at the very least. Oh, goy. Oh, good lord. Okay. Yeah, no. Uh, let's just go back to Niaz. I take it that if I talk to the guy, he's not going to give me any hints. But it might be worth trying. Like, genuinely, I don't remember him saying anything about the bee all over the world, We've but... We've reached our destination. The fact that we can go all over the world and the fact that quick travel is an option makes me wonder like are they going to be all over the world or just in Mahaksar? I genuinely don't know. The quest is based in Mahaksar. and generally people give you quests based in the regions that they are in but Wonderbard I don't know. Help. <laughs> I shall offer you no clues! Ah! Okay, fine. Thank you, Wonderbard. Uh, like, yes, I am desperate. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, I just want to know if they're in Mahaksar. Because I genuinely have no clue. Um... And that's not going to say anything. Oh wait. If I put that on the screen, does it show anything? Like if I... Will this help? No. No, of course it won't help. It's not going to give me any clues either. Hmm. Okay, my other option is to check out... Uh, the top bit of the Isaluva forest to see if anything showed up there. Although, didn't we get this quest before we even went to Isaluva? Looks like we made it here in one piece. Somehow. So surely we would have seen it in Isaluva. Huh. Because I guess this is technically an ancient tower. Hmm. This is confusing. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. So... Would this count as an ancient tower? Hmm. I guess, like, the more we explore, we should just be able to find everything. But... Also, we've been here already, so you would think we'd know. That being said, I can get this peach shell. Finally. Uh, and there was nothing over this way. Well, except for potato, you know, which... Fair enough. Uh, okay, okay. You know what? Let's, let's, let's leave that quest for now. I have no idea where we're going for it. Err. Uh, so... That's fine. I'm gonna go to... Uh... Oh, that's the wrong one. I 
don't remember which places the hunts were. One of them was the dragon in Eldiminencia. Uh, oh yeah, remember Ridge? What is Ridge? What is Ridge? Ridge is technically in Menacea. We haven't been here. It also connects Menacea to Mah Mahaxar? We've reached our destination. Uh, it's late at night. Oh, look at the sky. Oh, that's very pretty. That's so very pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's an ancient tower. I think. I wonder if that's the ancient tower it was talking about. Hmm. I wonder. Let's, uh... Let's explore Ridge. I know that this is not where we were supposed to be going, but also I'm curious as to whether this is perhaps one of the areas it was talking about, considering there's an ancient tower here. What's that big tower over there? That's that's what I'm curious about. Oh wait, hold on, there was an item. Uh Hello? Peach gel. I could use more of those. I didn't expect to be doing side quests again today, and yet here we are. Uh, okay, so that's the way down to a new area, and that's something else. But this is also where the camp is. I guess we will camp then, since we're near a camp. I didn't expect it. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? I didn't expect it to actually be a zoogleless area, right here. But here we are. Oh, cool. Huh. I wonder if this is just like an extra dungeon or something. Huh. Er, uh, let's camp. I find the sounds of the night to be rather comforting. I'm sure you do, Dohalim. Alright, who are we gonna chat with? Oh, what are we gonna eat, more, more importantly? Er, uh, what have we not eaten? Have we had the leaf wrapped fish? Hmm. We don't have curry either, we should really eat that. Um... Hmm... We've not had ice cream or omelette. No, we have had omelette, I think. We've had cheese fondue. Uh... Cooking effect dark mark? What does that even mean? Makes you easier to detect when making contact with enemy icons. Oh... Oh no... <laughs> Don't tell me I got that cooking effect last time I... Oh no. <laughs> Is that why I got immediately attacked? That's awful. I'm gonna make some leaf wrap, leaf wrap fish. Done. This is sure to give the others some much needed energy. I'm sure it will, Kisara. Oh dear. Alright, let's chat with... Our... Renwell? I feel like it's been a while since we chatted with Rinwell. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? Not that this is anything but like a little. Oh, how cute! Oh, that's so cute! Have we never chatted with Rinwell like this? Oh, that's so cute. Hoodles really warmed up to you. <laughs> that's so sweet. Oh hey, we got a chief chef for Kisara. <laughs> Fair enough. No one has a greater command of the kitchen than Kisara, master chef who always keeps her helpers busy and their hands full. That kind of makes sense. Err, uh, she has quite a few skills actually that I need to get for her. Do I have the KO prevention yet? Because really, I could use that. I do. Let's get that. Err, uh, what else do I want to get for her? I think I was pretty close to done with this one, but hmm. I'm just as close with that one, really. Er, uh, actually, I could probably finish this one. Easier over, yeah, easier over the sure. That one. Oh, we're so close. Well, we'll finish that one soon. Another day, another gold. All right, I'm pretty confident that. The wonder quest must be here. 
just judging by the clue of it being an ancient tower, this has to be it. Like, I mean, look at it. Ancient tower, if I've ever seen one. Uh, so if we head on in here... Oh, I see. We can't get up that way, so we have to drop down from the top. Can we go anywhere else here? No. No. Alright. What was the point in this little road then? <laughs> I guess just for the item. Alright, well we'll head back up. Hello, don't mind me. We're just running right past again. That guy is everywhere. Wee. Not this way, I guess. Wait, really? Not this way, I guess. Eh? Did I not jump far enough? Come on. Come on. I can make that jump. Wee. Not this way, I guess. Wait, really? How do we get in here then? How do we get in here then? I... Huh? How do we... Huh. Unless there's another... Hmm. Either the game is being like, hey, you're not coming here till later. Or there is genuinely another way to get in. Um... See, that's not on the map or else I would try and go around the edge. So it should just be straight ahead. I'm guessing that this is just a place that we're not allowed to go until later, though. Not this way, I guess. Yeah, considering it's carting me back down these rocks. Okay, fine. I guess we can't do that quest until later, then. That's my guess for now, anyway. Like, surely, if we could go in there, then that would be the way. Oh, that's kind of a shame. I wanted to ch check that out, but never mind. Alright, well, back to wh what I was actually doing. Err... Uh, I mean, where does that even connect to? It's just bridge, right? It's not anywhere it even connects to, so... That's kind of disappointing. Oh well. Err, uh, I guess we'll head on over to the Sint and then Trasselda Highway. And if we go here, then the dragon is right over there, so we can go and fight it. It's a terrible idea, but we're gonna do it, because I need the gold. It's a terrible, terrible idea. I'm gonna have to switch over to Shion again. We've reached our destination. Maybe I actually should have picked a better cooking effect, because EXP is fine at all, but... Hmm. Her, will this party be okay, or should I bring in Rinwell? Well... I'll leave her well for now, because I can always pop her in if I need her. Err, uh, let's change over my subquest just to the the dragon one. And I think I'll very quickly save. Alright. So we'll have these boars to fight first, but then we should be able to fight the dragon. And hopefully it'll go better than it did last time. Hopefully. Is that the zoo? Do my best. Okay. Here I go. Oh, How did I forget what I had uh... If they rush you, you gotta hmm. jump for Alright, here we go. The real battle has just begun. Pull it together, Law. Sorry, right. I'm calm. Okay, I'm gonna try and get rid of the ads first. If it'll let me. Right. Oh! Look sharp. Lightning tiger blade. There we go. Right, is it just the dragon now? Err... Uh, okay, I can... I take it that's its core. Right, I really should heal, actually. There we go. Alright. Oh! Oh no, law. 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 Oh dear god. Oh dear god law. Okay, didn't expect to have to do that much healing all at once, but that's fine. Oh, bring him out! There we go. There we go. Okay, this is quite okay. There we go. Really, I should be the best person for this fight, considering that uh, I'm playing as Xion. Oh, oh, dang it. Oh, no. Take it down. 
Okay, okay, this is fine. This is quite okay. Oh no. Ah. Okay, okay. Oh god, explosion? This is fine. Oh lord. Right out. Thank you. This is fine. Oh god. Okay, maybe I used that as a, uh, a bad time, but that's okay. Hey, can you not come over and attack me while I'm casting? Thanks. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Look at how fine this is. It's actually not going that badly. Actually, maybe fire is a bad idea. I guess this thing. Yeah, it's, it's using fire. Hold on, let me let me change my hearts. Uh, what do I actually have set? Freeze Lancer is on the top. I think that's the only two spells I have, right? Okay, I should just use Freeze Lancer instead then. Glacial Spear. Here's the eagle. Here goes. There we go. See, look, that's his weakness. That helps so much. Uh, I guess that. Oh no, we don't. Don't use Burning Strike. That's dumb. Glacial Spear. Here's the evil. Uh, I. Oh god. Oh god. Alfin. Here's a healing art. Do it. Oh. I'll stop your movement. And I'll stop your life. Here's a healing art. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. You know what? It's going okay. Oh, very well. There we go. Okay, this is fine. Uh, there we go. See, look at that. That went well. This is quite fine. Oh god. Oh no. Uh, that didn't help. That didn't help. Okay, this is fine. Hey! Oh wait, wrong one, wrong one. Oh god. I just threw that in the complete wrong direction, but I'm glad it went the right way. Eh. There we go. Oh, that's not actually what I meant to use. Um, although you can heal Alfin. Oh, eh. Oh, that didn't work. I was kind of hoping I could stop his art with Kisara because Ridwell wasn't ready. This is fine. Look at how well we're doing. Look at how well we're doing. This is fine. Uh. This is not going well. I don't know why I used Ridwell for that. That was not going to work. It was not an heart. There we go. This is fine. Look at how well this is going. Oh god. Uh, my party is slightly dying though. Okay, this is- oh god. Please don't die, Kisara. It has one HP. It has it has one HP. Oh, we got an astral flower, a magical flower that grants the order ten plus max CP. Oh, beautiful. This should come in handy when crafting weapons. Ah. <sighs> I forgot about the max CP bonus from doing these. Okay, uh, we should probably go and speak to whoever it was that asked us to do that. Uh, not that I remember who asked us to do that. Oh, it was that guy, right? It was the guy in Minicia, in Vicent. Yeah, should be fine then. Okay, this is fine. We'll go and ta talk to him and he'll be like, congrats, you did it, give us money, great. And then we can go and fight the other one. And it'll be We've fine. reached our destination. And it'll be absolutely fine. And then we can maybe actually... Uh, hello? He took a very long time to spot in. How's this? Welcome back. You take care of that pesky Zoogle flying around for me? Yeah. You bet. It won't be giving you any more problems. You did? Damn, that's seriously impressive. In that case, this bounty's here. This bounty here is all yours. Go on, take it. <laughs> now I wish there were more Zoogles with big baddies attached for, to a, for us to get rich off of. I'm sure if you ever did something bad, you'd get a huge bounty on your head real quick, kid. All right. If that ever happens, I'll take responsibility and bring him down myself. You can send the money to whomever he ends up causing trouble. Hey! Stop acting like I'm going to turn into a criminal. 
Well, anyway, because of you folks, the highway is much, that much safer to traverse now. So thanks. Alright, we got claiming a bounty. A little bit of gold in our pocket. Never goes wrong. Oh! Law bounty hunter. <laughs> Somehow I'm not surprised. Okay. A living maid from bounty hunting is all well and good, but Law would rather not become a bounty himself if he can avoid it. That makes sense. Did I get KO protection for him already? I think I did. Uh, but I may be wrong. Ah, oh, yeah, I did. Okay. So what's on the bounty hunting one? Strength encounter edge easier element. Reduced awakening requirements. Ooh, cool. And then increased boost gauge from enemy downs. Ah, cool. I might wait a little bit and look at that later. Well, that went well. Uh, there's... Oh, a couple more side quests in here. We should really continue looking around these towns and see if we can find more side quests. Oh, I didn't even see this one here. Uh, oh, I went the complete wrong way, didn't I? Oh, for some reason I thought these places were connected, but they were not. Okay. Well, it's good that there's more side quests here, though. That means we can get more money. <laughs> I'm just so broke. Why did enemies stop dropping gold? Why did they I think do there's that? someone in trouble here. Hi there. You well, need help? Let's see what they have to say. Yeah, let's talk to them. Oh, this is bad. What am I gonna do about that Zugul? Mm -hmm. Is something bothering you, Lagil? I heard you mention something about a Zugul. Oh, Kisara. You see... Actually, never mind. It's nothing. <gasps> it sure doesn't sound like nothing to me. Did a dangerous Zugul appear somewhere? If you need it gone, I'll handle it. I can not ask you to do that. You've got enough on your own plate as it is, I'm sure. <sighs> Leave men and see his affairs to us. I have to learn how to get by without Miguel to depend on these days anyway. Right. But I want to make sure this realm stays safe just as much as you do. So if you're having problems, say something. Excuse me! I just told you we can handle it ourselves! Or do you doubt our ability to look after ourselves? It's not what I... Well... It's okay, Lagil, really. We've bought our fair share of Zoogles, you know. Why don't you tell us what's going on, at least? Okay, then. Hmm. A giant Zoogle's shown up by Trazada Highway, and it's making a big mess out of all the fields and buildings along there. It's like a wild hog, only it manages to break through any walls and fencing that gets in, it way in its way. Hmm. When you say hog, you mean one of those boar Zoogles. I'd figure a stone wall would be enough to keep it at bay. That won't work with this fella. We're talking about something the size of a hut. Really? That big? <sighs> yes, that's why I've been struggling to come up with a way to stop it. We'll see what we can do. Good. If we're dealing with something that bad, you should let me go after it. I've got my shield here, after all. What the? I don't know if that's such a... Seriously? I don't know if it's going to pose a threat to a Zugul the size of a hut. All right. I'll make it work somehow. I'm determined to do what I can to protect my realm. You said Trazada Highway, right? We'll be back. <sighs> well, I guess we're uh, doing the quest of Boorish Boar. <laughs> Uh, okay, let me have a look at the details for this one, because hopefully this should give me an idea of how level it is. Well, 5,700 gold. It might be a little bit tougher than the dragon, but we might be able to handle it. I'll go and see what level it is at the very least, and if it's too high level for us, then we can ignore it. I wonder if this is the one that showed up in the demo. I didn't fight it, but... There was a boar zoogle, like jagged zoogle in the demo. So it might be that one. Hmm. Err. I mean, it's in the same place. I'm guessing this is the one that was in the demo that I didn't fight. Oh, I should have went and got the other quest while I was at it. Ugh, oh, never mind. Oh, hello. Aren't Rapics cute? They are. Can I pet one? Sure, give it lots of love. Don't go too gaga over Rapigs and let the Zoogles attack. I I learned that they don't come out this far. It's okay. What, the Zoogles? Well, yeah, actually, they don't seem to come out to the farmland, so that's fine. I wonder if that's because of the... Hmm, actually, no, I don't know. I don't know why it is. You, you having a good time there, dude? Oh, I've just realized there's another side quest here. 
Actually, there's a couple of side quests here. Let's see what's going on around here. Yeah, there might be someone who could use our help. I'm surprised by how many side quests are popping up all of a sudden. Huh. Hmm. I understand your concerns, sir, but we got our hands full with other matters. We'll try to take care of it as soon as we can get to it. I, we appreciate your patience. Hey! As soon as you can! I can't afford to wait! Don't you understand? Everybody's gonna be in deep trouble if you don't get in on- if you don't get on this! What's wrong? What's the problem? Sounds like we're dealing with a serious situation here. Huh? Huh? You could say that! My farm equipment's all ruined! A band of zoogles are behind it, the pesky- the pesky varmints. They're using earth astral energy or whatever you call it, and making the metal on my equipment rust up. Why is this happening? And I can't fix rusted equipment. How am I supposed to harvest my crops now? Huh? If it's just Zoogles you're dealing with, can't the Renans here scare them off? These ones are untamed. Even the Renans are helpless to do anything about them. Damn it. If something ain't done soon, the yield of my field is going to be worse than awful. Men and Sia might be doing well these days, but that's down to farmers like me who help maintain our, our food supplies. I guess. I can definitely understand why this is a big problem, yeah. I know what it's like to have to go without food. You do too, right, Law? <sighs> yeah. Things get pretty miserable when you go hungry. I'm sure plenty of people in this realm remember what it's like all too well. I don't want to have to see them suffer through that again. Let's lend a hat. Got it. Why don't you let us take care of these zoogles? We can't just stand by and let people starve. What the? You do that? You're a literal lifesaver. I just hate that the guard and the armored soldiers aren't handling it like they should. Yeah. Like people's ability to eat is at stake. You can't sit around waiting for people to act. Law's right. We'll fix this. You wait here while we get rid of those zoogles. Alright, getting rusty. I wonder what zoogles... Uh, let's give display priority to that one for now. Do zoogles just go after anything that looks remotely like farm equipment? It's me. Let's just focus on ensuring they don't make matters any worse. By the way, why do you keep looking over yourself? Huh? Oh, no reason. Don't worry about it. I... Is it maybe because they're metal and your armor is also metal? <laughs> Defeat eight times earthen masses near the field. Uh, if I ever remember what those ones are, then we will do that. Uh, so the other one's up this way? Oh, I should probably check on my livestock at some point as well. Hello! How are you doing? Hmm? Oh, uh... Lord Dohalim, what brings you here? Hello. Oh, nothing in particular. We're simply passing through. We are quite the distance from the capital, however. Are you in need of assistance? Uh, well, yes. I've been having Zuckel troubles. Huh. Hmm. How curious. You shouldn't be seeing any more of them out here since the soldiers cleared them all out. The little ones have kept away, yes, but this big Zuckel showed up recently that's been causing me no end of trouble. It looks like a giant monkey, I guess you could say. It likes to blow these huge gusts of wind that wreak havoc on my crops. That sounds like quite the serious problem. <sighs> I I apologize for troubling you with this, my lord. I promise to still fulfill the pal palace's order somehow, but... We'll see what we can do. Fear not, uh, fret not, I shall handle this situation myself. Huh? What? You'd do that for me, my lord? But of course. How could I possibly ignore a citizen standing before me who is quite... Who's quite clearly in dire need of my aid. Kisara. You said it was a large simian zoogle that knows how to manipulate the wind, yes? Very well. Let us be off, Kisara. Right. Alright, dually big game hunter. <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, we're not going to give display priority to that one because we have display priority on the other one. Err, uh, okay. How, how, how much gold are we getting for that one? Err, uh, da da da. 5,700, that's about the same as the other ones, so maybe they're all around the same level. Hmm, maybe not, though. Anyway, this area is so dang pretty. <laughs> okay, let's go and see if we can find any of those earthen masses. And I'll try to take them out first. Oh, that guy's fishing! That's fun! You having a good time, my dude? The Ultimate in Sea is famous for its fertile, la fertile land, but its waters are teeming with life, too. There are all sorts of good places to catch tasty fish. There's Overseer Hill, or if you want to go past Vicin, the capital, there's also Talca Pond. I should fish. 
I bet that one could give me a decent workout. You're planning to fight it alone? No way! I need your help. <laughs> the absolute panic in Alvin's voice. You're planning to fight it alone? What? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> oh dear. I think these are earthen masses. Can we fight these? <sighs> Everybody okay? We're all right, Alfin. I have no idea if they actually counted. Although I did say near the field, also I take it that's the monkey one. I see. Err, uh, hold on, if I look at my map. So that's the boar one, that's the monkey one. Does it just have to be in this area, I take it? Hmm. I wonder if we can find some more earthen masses around here. Uh, ah, there's some over there. Is that the Zugul we're looking for? Err, uh, please don't come after me, giant one. Hello. Looks like we got them all. Okay, so the other ones did also count, so we've done six out of eight. I just need to find two more earthen masses and then we've got that side quest all done. Which would be good. Err, uh, I'm gonna wait until after we've camped to do the other giant Zugul ones. Um, since we're a little bit lower on CP right now. Uh, but after we've camped, then it should be okay. We should be able to cook here. Should be. Uh, so how far? Right, up to just before that sparkly over there. Okay, there's a couple of earthen masses here. There it is. That's our target. Let's fight him. That's the last of the Zoogles that were ruining the farm equipment. Yeah. Thank goodness. I mean, hey, I get the feeling. But were you really that worried about us winning? Oh, uh, no. Of course not. Huh? Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. I'm... I'm gonna go and hand in that quest now because I'm so curious about what got Alfin all worried. Err... Uh, I was gonna camp straight away, but no, we're gonna go and talk to the lady first. Hand in the quest. Because I... I'm just too curious. Err... Uh, not you. You! Hello! We did the thing! Wait, no, it's not this lady, it's the other one. You're the- Hmm... Uh... Oh god, okay. Other one. Other one. Also, like, I'm trying to remember, what's stronger than wind in the Tales game? <laughs> hmm. Okay! What's the situation with the Zoogles? Yeah. You can rest easy. We got ri rid of every last Zoogle around here that was giving you trouble. You did it! Wonderful! Now I can finally repair all my damaged equipment. I've got to hurry and get everything running again so I can resume my harvesting. Can't let anybody in this realm go hungry after all that. I hope you're not forgetting about us when you say that. Yeah! Definitely not. Thank you all so much for stepping up. I'm just happy to see Minencia's dining tables will still be full of food. Alright! Man, nothing like the risk of a food shortage to make sure we got the job done. Oh, uh, yeah, but everything's okay now. Hey, Alvin, is it just me, or were you a little preoccupied with something else? Well, what makes you say that? I noticed you kept looking all over yourself for some reason. Oh, that. Well, uh, remember what that farmer said about the Zoogles making all metal rust? Yeah, why? I was afraid of what happened to my armor and sword if we didn't do anything. I guess... Right, because it's all metal, huh? Ugh. Yeah, if all my equipment rusted, I wouldn't be able to fight. You'd be worried too, right? Don't tell me you were in it mostly because you didn't want your stuff going to waste. Really? You gotta be kidding me, Alfin. <sighs> hey, I'm just as shocked as you are. Now that I think about it, wouldn't his mask have also rusted? Uh, that wouldn't have been pleasant. Uh, yeah, no, it, it makes a lot of sense that his armor and sword, and potentially also his mask, would all have rusted. And that wouldn't have been very pleasant. Alright, let's spread over to camp. Make camp real quick. I think we could also fight at least one of these big zoogles today. Maybe both of them. Maybe we'll just go along and do as many side as we, we can. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? Oh, my boy, fine. Okay, yeah, we got a few th th <laughs> reach maturity. <laughs> Okay. Err, uh, let's raise... I've got tons of chicken, haven't I? Let's get cows. Err, uh, and pigs. 
And you know what? I've got to get another horse. This is fine. Err, uh, sure. Can I sell anything? Oh yes, good. Okay, so I've got a little bit of gold. That's good. And we're kind of just getting items naturally as we go. It's more for getting orange gels and also weapons. Hmm. Anyway, let's go ahead and camp. Gotta be honest, I am tempted to do a little bit of grinding. You make sure to rest too, Hoodle. Oh, I am tempted to do to do a little bit of grinding between episodes. Hmm. Like not so much for levels, but for items and stuff, so we can sell them for gold, and also for fishing. I would like to do some fishing, so I might do a bit of that later. Err. Uh, what do I want to make? I still can't make horse sashimi. I only have one horse meat. Okay, fair enough. Err. Uh, what have we not made yet? I think we've made everything, haven't we? Or maybe we've not made steamed potatoes. And I don't think we've made curry. In fact, we should probably make... <gasps> I should make Alpha and make curry. Yes. That came out great. Everyone's going to be real surprised. How many spices did he put in it? How many spices did he put in it? That's the real question. Oh, dang, no skit. <laughs> I kind of hoped there would be a skit, but there was not a skit. I'm wondering who there might be something new with. Let's chat with Xion. Xion, could we talk a moment? No, nothing new. This is just the same one we've seen already. Uh, this is a sweet cutscene, but yeah. I think it's time we go to sleep. Yeah, that's okay. They are cute cutscenes, I do like them. Alright, with that done, I should still be playing a Xion. We have everything we need. Let's attempt to take out one of these giant zoogles. I'm gonna go for the boar one right now, I think. 26! Okay, we can do this. Ah, this song. Okay. I'll need to figure out what his charge animation is because- oh! Yikes. It's already charging. Great. Good to know. Okay, so what's his charge animation? Because I'm gonna get Kisara to- oh, I did- well, uh, oh. That's what my shield's for. Get behind me. Good. Leave it to you. Err, uh, okay, this is fine. Oh, lost dying again. Oh god. Oh no. I can't figure out what his charge are. Char ah. Stop it. There we go. Okay, so if I just do it mid-charge, it always works. Okay. Err, uh, so can I do this? There we go. Okay, can you not? Thanks. Okay, we, there we go. Beautiful. Er, uh, okay, it's Earth and uh, I don't know what that is. Ooh! Some of Kisara's lines are just great. Oh, too shy to come over? Oh, boo hoo. Oh, baby. Er, uh, hmm. Okay, this is fine. It keeps charging across the field, specifically at me, and I don't like that. But its health is going down pretty quick, so that's good. Use items, do it. Use items. I don't care. Oh lord. Oh, I kind of hoped that the others would be in the circle when I used healing circle. Uh, go, Kisara! There we go. Okay. Whew. That could have been worse. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. It charges a lot. Which is not great because our boost gauge does not go up that fast. Oh, okay, wee! Get out of the way of that thing. Oh god, okay. Err, uh, okay, let's... Oh my god! Every time I cast an R. Every time I cast an R. 
This is fine. There we go. Okay, Freeze Lance is fine. Uh, oh, nice! Core break! Alright, uh, you might as well just do this as well. There we go. I don't think that actually did anything. Oh! Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Cyclone! Nice! Okay, he broke his core, so that's good. Um, oh, Kisara! Kisara! There we go! Okay. Okay, okay, that'll, that'll do for now. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. You, wrong art, wrong art. Yeah, I saw that coming. Okay. I finally learned what the, the charge animation is. Okay. There we go. Okay, this is, this is good, okay. Oh, oh, oh god. Uh, oh, is it over a little bit? Oh god. Uh, why? Ow! Oh my god. Please leave me alone. Kisara? Kisara? There we go. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, the one... I don't know if that's actually gonna help at all. It didn't help at all. Oh, it's charging, it's charging. Uh stop it. It is called the Relentless Charger for a reason, I guess, but like, come on. Almost there. Or close enough. Take it away, Ross. I thought you'd never ask. Sure. Why not? I don't know if that actually helps, but sure. Oh, it's an overlimit again. Uh stop! Oh, Kisara is having a good time though. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, there we go. Boom! Oh no, okay. That didn't work. Maybe because it's an over limit. Okay, I would like to heal. There we go. Okay, that's okay. I hate that it keeps running away from the rest of my party and they all have to run over. There we go. Ah, frick. Ah, dang it. Okay, okay. I need to pay more attention to what it's doing. Oh, I see you! Dang it! Dang it! Every time I go, every time I go heal, every freaking time. I really again. I lord. Oh god! Just do that, please. Oh no! Oh, it's an over limit again. Okay, okay, this is fine. Uh, every dang time. I don't know if that worked at all, actually. I might have just wasted that. Oh, Law is freaking dead. Ah, dang it. Okay, uh, let me bring it back to the Oh, no, we don't have enough CP. We don't have enough CP. Law's dead. Life bottle. Oh, it's Alfin who's dead now. Oh. I don't know when he died. Please, please. Oh god. Okay, this is not going. I mean, it is technically going. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Okay, that worked. Got another astral flower. I'm reaching my limit, you guys. Yeah, the real Damn. issue. Guess we better be extra careful. The real issue is when they charge all the time at me specifically when I'm doing my healing. I don't appreciate it. Uh, let's go back to see Lagil. Uh, if I quick travel here, we can at least get our money. Uh, and maybe also get the other side quest while we're there. Uh, that went okay. But like, I feel like we should probably rest before we do another. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Yeah, we should probably rest before we do another fight like that. My mini map did not load in. I isn't like Gil supposed to be here as well? Or is it... no? Ah, yeah, no, she is here. Hi. Oh, how to go with that Borzugal? Okay. Don't worry, we managed to stop it. 
Seriously? I still can't believe we pulled it off, honestly. I never should have doubted you, Kisara. I hate that I had to turn to you in the first place. <sighs> you still helped. Your evacuating people and clearing out rubble made it so that we could simply focus on fighting. So don't beat yourself up. You've always been a big help, even when we were younger. <sighs> Thanks, Kisara. Well... Anyway, what part of the fence did that boar destroy? I want to fix it for you. What the- y You don't have to do that for me, and I swear you never know how to rest, do you? <laughs> it's just in my nature. Speaking of which, hey, Renoir? Your coat's been dirty ever since that fight. Let me have it. I'll wash it for you later. <sighs> huh? Uh, oh, sure. <sighs> I've got to step up my game. Well, we cleared the quest. Hooray. <laughs> Well, that went. <laughs> it went. It certainly went. All right, if we go over to where the quarry is, it looks like there's another person over there where you can get a side quest from. Maybe this one won't be a big fight you want, and we can just do it now. Do you see anybody around here who could use our help? Oh, we I can't don't... chase after every little thing. <laughs> well, we're chasing after every little thing. Stuff you. Hmm. Oh, you're Captain Kisara from the Guard, right? Perfect. I've got a problem I could really use your help with. You okay? What is it? I'm at your service. Well, when I was working in the Razum Quarry earlier, I came across this one tough nut of a rock I couldn't quite crack. Yeah! A tough rock, you say? If you need help smashing something, I'm your guy. If only the solution were so simple. Alas, by the time I got to work the next day, it completely vanished. <clears throat> Imagine my surprise when I found it rolling around deeper in the quarry. It was practically a walking crag and a feisty one at that. Ever since then, I've been too scared to get back into work without knowing that that thing is in there. We'll see what we can do. Okay. Leave it to me. I'll see what I can do. Huh? This'll be good. I can't wait to see how our specialist in, de in defense is going to solve this one. Ha! <laughs> well, I'm not going to just ignore this man after what he's told us, defensive specialist or not. Thanks a million, Captain. You'll find it deep inside Rasm Quarry. Here we go! Roger. Let's move out. I'll crush that Zoogle one way or another. I see it's another giant Zoogle hunt. Understandable. But not quite what I wanted. Oh well. I have to beat the walking crap. Ugh, yeah, it's gonna be there, huh? I see. It's worth about the same amount of money, so it's probably about the same level. Hmm. Fair enough, though. Alright, I think before we end off, I'm gonna very quickly go to the Owl Forest. And that's the only thing I'll do. And I promise then I'll stop. And then next time we can do some more side quests. I'm sorry. I didn't expect us to start doing side quests. But also, like... I want money. <laughs> I want money because we are broke and uh, life is tough. Our, uh, if I go this way... Never snow plains. There we go. Yeah, I think if we do a couple of side quests, get some money, get some levels, then we should have a good head start for whatever this next thing is going to be because I think we'll probably have to do a boss fight pretty soon. Looks like we made it here in one piece. And if that's the case, then we should really be prepared for it in all possible ways. And if we can buy lemon gels, like, it'd be good to buy some of those too just in case. So... Anyway, let's go and check on the owls, see how they're doing. I should really start looking for more of the owls as well. Hmm. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? I kind of wish it told us how many we were missing in different areas. It just tells us that some are missing, though. Like, oh, the pair seems to be full. We've got all of them in, in Calaglia. Oh, that's great to know. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I'm happy about that. We finished off one area. And then... Oh! Oh, hey, Sislodia is also full. There weren't quite as many as Sislodia. I kind of expected there should be more, but you know what? I'm not going to complain. I'm glad that we've got them all. Uh, there's still room for some owls on the Men and Sia perch, so I'll have to try and find some of those ones. And I know there's definitely some left in Mahaksar. But after that, then we've only got this one last perch. Ah, oh, I'm so curious to find out more. I also just noticed, like, above that was, like, rocky ground. That was snow. 
that one's like earthy, flowery stuff. That one's mushrooms. And then that one's like water and crystals. I'm so curious to go with that last area. But first of all, uh, before we go anywhere near that, hi there. Hoot, 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 hoot. Give me an owl. G not an owl, just give me an item. We have an owl. We have several owls, really. Okay, what is he gonna give us this time? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> His face every time. Oh, he got a red black wolf vest! A suave red and black outfit designed for martial arts uh, practitioners with an accompanying wolf head that gleams with a black luster. And we also got the green wolf vest, an outfit designed for martial arts practitioners. The calm green hue mysteriously gives the wearer an air of a fighting master. Oh, we also got a wolfless vest, an outfit designed for martial arts. It's lighter without loss, trademark wood wolf head, but feels far more lifeless in comparison. That 10 gold clearly had a lot to uh, do for it. Oh, we also got a crimson hairpin that shaped like a butterfly that spruces up the wearer's looks with a pleasant flower near their face. And also a silver hairpin. A silver hairpin shaped like a butterfly when paired with Rinwell's black hair it shines like a star in the night sky. Our hair is black, huh? And then we got a dark blue hairpin uh, shaped like a butterfly that pairs well with mellow subdued outfits. And a skit? Looks like we got another reward. I didn't realize that so many still remained. Dan and Owls truly are majestic indeed. I thought the Dan and Owls had all but died out myself. That's what I get for making assumptions. Just so we're clear, this place is supposed to be a secret. Yes, I'm aware. Places like these should be kept out of the public eye. It's a pity, though. With proper training, they could be made into a magnificent chorus. <laughs> What are they hooting about now? Alvin and Xion can interpret for us, right? Huh? Oh, no, I mean, it was just a lucky guess last time. Yeah? Maybe you'll be lucky twice. Go on, give it a shot. Uh, really? Well, if you say so. <clears throat> Let's see. Listen to them. Are they really up to the task? <sighs> what do you mean? You're the one who put them in charge. <laughs> it's my responsibility to protect our friends. Stop trying to take everything upon yourself. This is what the owls are saying? Of, of course. course. Uh... I must say, though, we've found quite a number of owls. It's a testament to how much you care for Hoodle, Rinwell. Hmm. I wonder which branch Hoodle will perch on. Rinwell? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Well, come on. The perches are only half filled. We've got to find the rest of the owls. Oh, we're halfway done! Oh, that's cool to know! That skit was very funny. <laughs> Alvin and she on interpreting, but then it just sounded like they were talking to each other. <laughs> that's funny. Um, yeah. <laughs> we got some cool new stuff as well, we should really check that out. Err, uh, I'll check out Rainwell's stuff first, because she's got a lot less. Err, uh, so we got a red pin, which is very cute. A silver pin, which is a bit more subdued, but it's still pretty. And a dark blue one, which is also very pretty. I, I like that red one a lot, actually. I guess these go with her other coats. So if we wanted to put like her scar scarlet coat with the crimson pin. Or the dark blue pin with the blue inherited coat. Or even the silver pin with that. Hmm. Or the silver pin with the red coat. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. We're not wearing it right now, but... <laughs> it still looks pretty cool. Uh, and then... Law got the wolfless vest. Oh, it looks really weird without the, the wolf, actually. But it's 10 gold lighter. <laughs> uh, we also got the red black vest, which is pretty cool. I do like it. And we also got the green wolf vest. He actually kind of sits the green. Hmm. 
was a surprise. It kind of reminds me of an outfit from Sharon from Garcaptor Sakura. <laughs> oh god. Anyway. Anyway. Now that we've looked at all those, I guess we'll end off. Err... Uh, so hi, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to let me know down below if you thought of everything that happened to the Sepsi here today, including side quests. We just did side quests. I'm sorry that there were so many of them. Uh, next time we might end up doing more side quests, so look forward to that, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do more side quests next time. If we get onto plot, that'd be great. If we don't get onto plot, I might go ahead and do some grinding between episodes after that, but I think for now I'll wait until after we've done a couple more side quests. So, my goodness. Hi. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time is for you. And I'll see you next time.